female founders raised just 2% of venture capital money in 2021. Headlines like this I see all the time on social media whenever I open up my computer. Let's have a look at this article. It was uh, in Bloomberg and this article states that female founders secured only 2% of venture capital in the United States in 2021. The smallest share since 2016 and a sign that efforts to diversify the famously male-dominated industry are struggling. It was the second year in a row that women's percentage of venture capital funding shrank, according to a report by a research firm, Pitchbook. However, because total funding levels in 2021 hit all-time highs, the overall dollar value of the funding to female founders rose. Or here is um, another article. What comes to mind when you think of venture capital? Men in suits? Men in hoodies? Men in fleece vests? I get it, just men. You're right. Since the inception of the asset class in the 1940s, venture capital in a nutshell is men writing checks, and here it comes, to men. The article states further that a global report by All Race in 2019 found that only 12% of VC firms and business angel groups had women in investment decision-making roles. Another study by women in VC also found that only 2.4% of women VCs are founding partners in the United States who control investment decisions. Women make better investments, bold statement. Here is another one, it's uh, from Austria, my home country. Maybe things are different here. This article raises the question, the startup ecosystem, a boys club. Let's have a look at what the article states further down. Female entrepreneurship in Austria. Let's start with the topic of female entrepreneurship in Austria. In Austria, only around 7% of all startups are founded by women. The European average lies at 15%. Whenever I open up LinkedIn, social media, surfing the internet, when I do research about investments and venture capital, it seems to me that we have a major problem on this planet. Entrepreneurship and investment is still male dominated. Why is it that uh, neither men nor women wants to invest in women? Does it make any sense? Are men probably better at managing capital and building companies than women? Let's listen to a male investor and his opinion on investing in female founders. Here is Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary in a podcast conversation on Impulsive, a podcast run by Logan Paul. Enjoy it. The hardest thing to do is get the whacking stick out when you know you have to do it. If you're putting a team together, if you're building a business, you've got to have a discipline of setting goals, achieving them. And if they can't reach them, it's behind the barn and you know what you have to do. You got you to gotta move on. You got to move on. You, you got to keep your crew tight. You have to make sure that everybody understands what they're doing. And particularly when you're building a business, you got to allocate as you're building it and it gets bigger and you got to find good people. I've made most of my money in investments, um, investing in women. If you look at all these Shark Tank deals over 14 years, 75% of the returns came from companies run by women. They're better at mitigating risk. So I'm already biased at backing women. You see my returns, because they, they're, you know that old adage, you want something done, give it to a busy mother. It's true. They know how to use their time. And so I'm a big advocate for that. I'll invest in any idea that I think has merit, but I invest more with women now because I've made so much dough with them. World of women, dude. Hey, <laughs> listen, it's, it's a, I'd give money to a goat if I could get a return. Like, I mean, I'm into it for the returns I'm yeah, making, but yeah. women are very good at this. Investing in women makes a whole lot of sense, says Kevin O'Leary. Practically, he is in for the returns and women are much better in it than men. So I hope with this video, it's a small contribution to reach more gender equality in investing. And the best thing would be that in future, we see investment funds and companies that have a board of directors that is uh, 50, 50, 50% men and 50% women. Enjoy the day.